There we go. Just start that up. How do I even turn off my sensor button? It was that one. Okay, turn my light on. Okay, so I was just scrolling through here, and it says the Sinking City 2. I haven't even finished the game yet. I've been, like, lazy this, like, last two months. I haven't made a single video yet. I've just, post, just been posting all the videos I made. So I've just been, like, on vacation. Anyway, and I see this, and I'm like, this is a perfect start to record something a little warmed up. And so, let's just take a look. The Sinking City 2 world premiere? I'm excited. I haven't even beat the first game, and I thought it was cool. Oh, it's going to be great. I can't. I did, well, how, where, did, where did this come from? Where were they hiding this at? This is going to be spoilers. I've never seen fish people like that in the game before. Part two, though. I don't know. stuff is old stuff, but... I hope there's a rideable train in this. That'd be so cool. I love trains. I like God loves the train. I have to beat the first game now. I need to get back into it. Am I even going to be able to beat the game before this one comes out? I'm going to out. Oh. It looks like we get a new character too. That seems like a different guy. Although this seems like a less serious guy, this seems like a normal guy got killed in here. What? Ah. <laughs> you go behind my local bridgeway, you'll see like six people walking around like that. Meat dragon looking thing. Octopus thing. The Sinking City 2. When, when does it come out? When does it come out? There's no date. It's just the premiere. Just the premiere. Oh, I want to play it. I want to play it so bad. I want to play it so bad. Oh my goodness. Is there. Okay, I got to read on this. Okay, okay. I, I just woke up, too, and I overslept. It's 12. I literally been waking up at 1 in the morning. I just woke up at 12, so I coma slept. Uh, everyone, incredibly happy to unveil the Sinking City 2, a story-rich horror game set in Lovercraft in 1920s United States. And the other one's in Oakmont, and I think it's like the 50s, right? I don't know. Is this earlier or newer? Was the other one set in the 18s? No, it was not set in the 18s. I don't know. I don't know how it works. I don't. I haven't played the first one enough yet. I'm just excited. Uh, the Seeking City Two. You have to face numerous eldritch abominations in combat. Explore the rotting city as rising waters change the landscape and discover dark mysteries brought upon this forsaken place. The game will feature a new standalone story separate from the old. Oh wait, separate from the one told in the original game. That's why it's slightly different. It's not like Cthulhu, but it's a little it's similar vibes. Okay, that is, I'm not, I'm not, I'm getting only like happy about this. And uh, the part two, we're going to be coming to a Kickstarter soon. Why to implement the new feature? We currently do not have the resources resources for instantly mechanicalizing extra boss fights, etc. More importantly, because of war. Sorry. More importantly, because of the war, are these guys in Ukraine? I hope nothing bad happens to him. I got. I want to see the Sinking City too. All right. I hope you guys survive with whatever it is. I don't know what. I don't know what it means. It just says war. I just hope they're good. I just hope wherever they're at, they're good. All right. It is a pivotal moment for us. It's a new genre: survival horror and new tech. UE five. Oh, wait, I know what that is. Uh, the uh, Ultra Real Engine five. Right? Okay, it's fine. 
I, I'm on antibiotics. My face swelled up, so I got a tooth infection. So it's gonna be a little bit harder for me to configurate words. Where the independent student known as the Detective Games, but we've never made bolder moves. The industry changing, and we want to secure our future. Quite the challenge, especially in a war zone. The industry is changing, and we can't secure the future. Quite the challenging, especially the wars. I I I cannot read today. So please consider supporting us on Kickstarter when it goes live. Don't forget to add the game on Wish. I am definitely going to add it on Wish right here, okay? I, I uh, Nothing I'm saying is making sense right now, but I am down for that. I got to play your first game, though. I never got that far in it yet because I did the drinking series of Skyrim, and that kind of like took up a bunch of room on my computer because it's like big, long segments. The old version of the Sinking City soon to be removed? Oh, I don't know what that means. I still got the game though, so it's fine. Um, it makes I, I I am so excited for this. It's not very often I get excited over a game because I'm only excited. The only games I'm excited for that are coming out is Space Marine Two. There's no Ratchet and Clank information at all, so I'm not. There's nothing there for me right now. And maybe if a Black Ops Two thing came out. And the Sinking City, too. Alright? It's always twos that are good, alright? Even Ratchet & Clank 2 was way better than the original. I, I, I personally didn't like the original Ratchet & Clank as much. I mean, I love it. I absolutely love it. It's a classic. But the like for replayability, I like the mechanics of the newer ones. Leveling up the guns and stuff. Okay, sorry. I went with Ratchet & Clank. I want to see where it says this game is set. Where is, where is this store page? Let's just see. In the 1920s on the east coast of the United States, the half-submerged city of Oakmont. Okay, so they're both set in the 1920s. Okay, okay. Interesting. And it looks kind of like this, and everything we've seen looks already looks better than this. This has like a shiny glimmer to it, and you can tell, I don't know, I don't know. It looks like everything is better. Although I already loved what this game looked like to begin with. But they said it's going to be a different genre. That's going to be a survival horror. And this one's just like a story horror or something. What was what, what this one called? What is it? Was it? Was it? Was it? Was it? Oh, Frogwares. I want to see Frogwares. Let's just see what Frogwares does. Oh, yeah, the Sherlock Holmes series. That's I, I never played any of them, but I heard of it. Interesting. Maybe I'll play one of their games at one point. I really like that. Although, once I beat the original Sinking City... I did have a friend tell me something. I might as well give you guys some news. How far are we? We're only seven minutes. I'll, I'll record for ten minutes because I haven't done anything in a while. This is going to be pretty updated because I'm still posting videos where I have a beard in them. And I don't really have a beard now. Okay, so I my friend told me this Bioshock series is better if you play it backwards. I don't know what that means. He just he kind of just told me that he, it will it'll just make more sense. It's better to play it that way. So we're going to be starting with Infinite and then we're going to go to Bioshock 1 and then 2. I think that's the right order, or all of them in reverse, but I'm not certain. He said, don't do the DLC on here until you played the first two, so play the orig the story of this one and the story of the other twos, then come back to the DLC on the other one. So it's just like, it's something it's something like that. I don't know if that's going to be cool or not, but I'm, I'm actually excited. I trust, I mean, what I'm saying is, it, it sounds like it's going to be really cool. He set, he set me up good, I think. I think he set me up good for, the, for this. And, um, Left 4 Dead 2 has an update. Now, I only ever played the original, the, the, that first video that I haven't posted yet, but it's going to get posted at some point. Um, maybe I'll post this one tomorrow. This is a little update video because I'm excited for the Sinking City 2. I want to watch that. We, we got to watch that trailer one more time before this is over, though. I will say that. Um, but yeah, I haven't played Left 4 Dead 2 since that. Like, I, like the kid I was playing with, um, something happened to him. And he ha he's not able to get on. So I'm going to play the rest of the story out. He had like a family problem. I don't want to bring it up. but So, yeah. Let's see here. Or something. I don't remember. I could be wrong. I could. It could just be because I've never messaged him since. <laughs> because I, I've been, I haven't been uh, doing anything in my group chat in a while. I haven't been asking anybody if they want to play or do anything in there. So, because I've been grinding Destiny 2. I got 157 hours this week. That's right. 
But um, oh yeah, I want to watch that trailer one more time. The Sinking City. I'm just I'm really hyped about this. Sorry, my mind is like re- it's really hard to stay focused when you're on antibiotic type things. And like the infection is right on my jaw right here, and it's like on the side of my head and all that nonsense. You know what I mean? It's not great. Here we go. One more time. Let's see if we see anything. Okay. This is the deep dive. We're looking for secrets now. The character seems very interesting. I do want to know more about this character. Four bullets left. This makes me think. People say you can't read in your dreams, but I had a dream where I was reading. So I don't. I don't know what people are talking. Anytime somebody says you can't do something in a dream, I've always. I, I, I don't know. There we go. I only shot two bullets and it jammed. Anything in the background? Any secrets? His eyes are the same color. Train tracks everywhere. Gravity's out of place. The reason I think this seems exciting is you can I can just tell by looking at this character that he's gonna give off a completely different vibe than the original one. From, and I don't even know much about the original character yet. I can tell he's going to have a completely different personality and a fresh look on this kind of universe. I hate those. This makes me think about pissing tapeworms, and that just sounds like it'd be the worst nightmare that could ever happen. <laughs> Sorry if I said that. That probably, was, that probably hurt somebody to hear that. <laughs> this gives me, like, Outlast vibes, but that's not the vibe of it. If there's something about this, maybe Call of Duty Zombies? No. Oh, there was a Call of Duty Zombies horror that was Resident Evil vibe one, and that's what it reminds me of. Oh no! Maybe this is giving me vibes of. I'm still trying to keep my eyes sharp. Of the Quiet City or something? Sinking Silent, Silent something, Silent Hill. Reminds me of Silent Hill. It's Right here, it looks like there's a little dragon face, but just mutated into it. It's just a big, ugly monster. And the city looks cool. From, from what I can see, I don't know if it's really showing much. Oh, I just love the vibe of this kind of city. This is like I have weird dreams of a city like that all the time, constantly. That's the whole reason I even played the original. I had a lot of dreams of something like that. Sherlock Holmes: The Awakening, and it shows a squid. Do the Sherlock Holmes games lead into these? Weird. Yeah, I wish I could see this on the YouTube app. Can we just open up YouTube, please? Okay. I want to see what people are saying. You're getting a like. Unfortunately, the Russian invasion still rages on. Okay, so it it is that. Okay. I hope everything works out for them. I really like the first one. I hope this game... Improves on its issues. I just one second. Man, my brain is just not working today. Is that good enough? Thanks for never being able to... Sp- it's always the one where... Whoops. It's like I'm writing this, but like... My face is showing visually no emotion, but I'm like filling a bunch, and it's just because I, I, I don't I don't need to explain it. I don't need to keep explaining it. I'll just I'll leave it simple like that. I wanted to say some more, but I'm gonna leave it simple like that. I. I gotta be subscribed to these people too. Like I, I want to support everything these guys got because they're making a good game. All right, that, that's just how I am. I, they, they're putting all this effort into it. They seem like really cool, great people as developers from 
from a, I, I don't know much about this developer, but from everything I've seen, they seem absolutely awesome. So I'm willing to support them all the way. Now I'm gonna X out of that. I hope you guys enjoyed this. That was the Sinking City 2 official trailer. We're not even done with the game yet, but I just, you know, this is like a freebie video I can do. It was 15, 20 minutes. Okay, so I need, to, I need to get out of here. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and adios amigos. And I'll see you soon with some gameplay of some sort. I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know how my personality is going to be. But as this little test video I'm doing here, it sounds like I should be able to do just fine. Because I haven't made a video in like two months, even though I've been posting like every other day still. So, all right. Bye-bye.